Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite features of iOS 7 on the iPad. If you have young kids or grandkids in the house and you like to let them watch movies or whatever on your iPad, what's the biggest problem you have? They click the home button, they get out of the movie, they hit the screen, the movie stops, and then you got a crier on your hands. Today we're going to show you how you use guided access right in your system settings to actually lock out the screen and the button so once you start that movie, they can't stop it or get out of it. Okay, on the iPad we're going to go to settings. Click on General, Accessibility, down here you have Guided Access. What you do is you turn it on, mine's already on, you set a passcode, it's going to make you put it in twice just like if you're using your, your security, and then the Accessibility Shortcut allows you to triple click on the Home button to set your Guided Access. So now that we're on, we're going to come back out and start a movie. Transformers, one of my favorite. I'm going to triple click on the home button and you can see that guided access has started. I can't click on anything. It says you have to triple click to get out of it. Even if I press the top button, it tells me that guided access is enabled. So I'm going to triple click the home button, put in my passcode, and this allows me to adjust. If I want to turn off my hardware button so you can't press the home button or the top button, if I want to turn off touch, and if I want to lock the motion so they can't spin it and have it auto spin around. Now I can end guided access, I can resume it, I can also click this X here and then redraw my screen. So if you don't want to lock out the entire screen, you just say you want to lock out the controls, take your finger, and now just the controls are locked out. So it's up to you if you want to lock the entire screen, end it, resume, turn your buttons on or off. I'm going to resume, and it tells me the guided access has started, and since I just locked out the bottom, I can't pause it or change it. I'm going to turn it back off by putting in my passcode and hitting end. It tells you it's ended, and now I'm back to normal use of my iPad. And that's guided access.